China and Vietnam agree to upgrade cooperation, expand existing railway lines, on December 27, 2023, the railway from Phangangang to Dongxing City in Guangxi, close to the Vietnamese border, has officially opened for operation. This is the first railway line leading to Dongxing City. Dongxing City is the only border city between China and Vietnam connected by sea. Land and land, the main railway line from Phangangang to Dongxing City is 46.9 km long, design a maximum speed of 250 km per hour. This route has a total of 8 tunnels and 21 bridges. On August 18, 2023, the first set of 500-meter-long steel rails was laid within the territory of Phangangang City, Guangxi, in November 2023. The tunnel and bridge projects along the railway have all been completed. On December 27, 2023, the railway has been completed and passenger services have begun to be provided. After the opening of the Fangdong Railway, the travel time from Fangkangang to Dongxing City will be shortened from the original 60 minutes to about 20 minutes and connect Dongxing City with the 42,000 km long Chinese high speed rail network make the western end of China's coastal railway network more closely connected. After Dongxing City, located on the border between China and Vietnam, was connected to the Chinese high-speed rail network, the distance between China's high-speed rail and Vietnam's Yuntanmang Street Expressway will be shortened to 5 kilometers. The road is connected to the railway, make economic and trade exchanges between the Baibu Gulf Economic Zone in Guangxi and the ASEAN market more convenient, Many small and medium-sized enterprises in Vietnam will also benefit from it. Currently, China is upgrading its industrial chain. Some low-end industries are slowly shifting towards Southeast Asia. The trade war between the United States and China has prompted some companies to transfer a small portion of their manufacturing industry to Vietnam, so as to strengthen the commercial and trade TIs between Vietnam and China. Now, China is already connected to Laos by railway. Thailand is also actively planning to build a railway to connect with China's railway network. Vietnam wants to connect Laos, Thailand and other neighboring markets. A railway system that can operate in Vietnam, China, and abroad must be selected. From an economic perspective, the Dongxin Railway in Phangkangang is an ideal choice for Vietnam, because China has always been Vietnam's largest trading partner. If the Vietnamese railway is not connected to China, the trade of goods between both parties cannot circulate well, leaving the Vietnamese market, China can transport goods to European and Southeast Asian markets, and leaving the Chinese market, the export volume and export value of Vietnamese goods will be halved. Apart from economic losses, Vietnam's railway will also miss its last development opportunity, since the opening of the Vietnamese railway in 1881, it has a history of 142 years, some elderly people, like those in their prime, are carrying heavy loads as they move forward, if Vietnam's railway is not connected to China's high-speed railway, it will become an isolated railway system, if we join China's leading railway system, it will bring vitality to the old railways, gradually moving towards modernization of railways, the following is an article that has been corrected for typos and punctuation, please help me correct typos and punctuation in the article. Just return the modified article, no need to talk nonsense, thank you.